Well, welcome back to the workbench. So all the sharpening stones. Um, spent the last week or two figuring out how to wrap my head around making a video to go over what I learned measuring them all because it's not exactly linear. So we're close. But today, <clears throat> we're going to talk about something else. Um, broken stones. You've probably all seen one or two. Um, I bought a collection of sharpening stones from Michael Chumklasky a couple weeks ago. And it included this really nice um, translucent Arkansas dressing stone. I lapped two faces flat and I promptly dropped it. And I was pretty heartbroken for a while. And I was digging around, watching some stuff, looking at stones. And I saw a guy out there. He recommended only clear Gorilla Glue. I've used a lot of glues, but I've never used clear Gorilla Glue. It's also non-foaming. I'm a big fan of the regular brownish foaming glue in other capacities. So I thought, what the hey? Um, this had the classic Novaculite Concordial Fracture. I glued it up with the stuff, and it's not going anywhere. It's really awesome. So I have two other stones out here I want to glue up. This one is a legend, uh, little uh, Belgian cortical slurry stone that I've just never wanted to use because it's always in two pieces. We're going to fix that today. But what I wanted to really share was this honorable mention. This sharpening stone came in a lot of tools of other stones. What was so crazy about it was I started lapping it, and it clearly had this crack. It's all the way through. <clears throat> But what was really unique and caught my eye was the way this old timer took a metal bar, wrapped it around the stone, there was even a rubber gasket behind it, and then locked it off with some nuts. So this stone didn't make it into my study of weighing for gravity, density, etc. because of the metal band, and I dared not take it off. I suspect this stone will probably fall in line with some of these types. But today, we're just going to focus on the glue. Do a couple things. Wow. Wow. Might actually be a combination stone. Interesting. You know what? I thought there was rubber but it's probably just old swarf and oil. It didn't account for this, but a little brass bristle brush. They recommend, not unlike the Gorilla Glue um, for stone and other things, to just spray it a little bit. These have a really good lid because you don't want air getting back into them. Screw cap, good fit. This stone blew me away. I thought for sure it was natural. It's probably man-made now though. Someone was really ingenious or poor to fix that up like that. We're gonna use the old turnbuckle just to put it back together. If I can get it on there. Bear with me. I should have marked which way this went on. 
so I'm not sure I have the right side back on it. But I think we got it, regardless. That looks pretty damn good. Whoops. Maybe not. Go for a little vice work. I think I got the distance. Yuck. This part will be off camera. Can't even do it that way. Change of plans. When in doubt, Bessie it out. We'll leave that overnight. And that should be good. So last thing we're going to do this little conical edge. <clears throat> I'm going to show a little trick that I use on a lot of um, hand plane totes when they break. What I mostly use is strips of inner tube that you have to cut. Like this. Now what I found with this glue, especially on this Arkansas stone, is it does leave a little bit of a glue line, it's fine. Um, but it peeled off pretty quickly. And from watching this fellow on YouTube, he had good luck with it and didn't notice too much when he went over it with a straight edge or a razor or a knife. Just the smallest glue line and it's a little rubbery so it doesn't really affect the edge. A little spring clamp. It's done. So coming soon, maybe later today, tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to do a long extended video about all these natural stones, the different categories they fell into, what the specific gravities helped me figure out, um, some of them that I don't know what they are, but I suspect because of this, numbers fall in line, and then we'll arrange them all from lightest to um, heaviest, according to gravity, and talk about the characteristics of natural stones and why specific gravity really in the end doesn't mean a whole lot. Stay tuned for more conundrums. <laughs>